friends welcome to my workplace at tanakhat is bengal india let us observe this totally unedited surgery the ocular surface is thoroughly irrigated with bases applying few drops of povidon iodine and now the incisions the main incision is made in this case at around 11 o'clock with a 2.8 mm steel keratome at mid limbus the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and methyl cellulose is applied over the ocular surface for better visibility side port is made on the left side of the main wound about 3 clock hours away and now see the capsular excess the capsular excess is made with the ureter forceps the tip of the ureter pierces the center of the capsule a capsular tag is raised and this capsular tag is guided all around to get an adequate size excess of about 5.25 mm hydro dissection and hydro delineation is done in this case hydro delineation has produced beautiful golden ring and now see the use of pre chopper the nucleus sustainer supports the equator and the nucleus and the pre chopper cuts the nucleus into pieces and in this case we have cut the nucleus into four pieces in a very short time maybe in less than one minute this is the beauty of pre chopper in soft cataracts if you use if you, you try any other technique you are going to spend more time with ultrasonic energy and now you just go and pick up the pieces and emulsify ultrasonic energy is is set at 60% fluoride is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 ml of mercury and the pieces are emulsified in this setting in a very short time maybe in less than 2 minutes and now see the epinucleus the epinucleus is removed and now i try to remove the cortex by the hand piece itself please don't try this i have been practicing this for a very long time maybe more than on ear and to do this you have a learning curve you have several options you can use by manual ia coaxial ia whatever but don't try this with the hand press the main wound is enlarged because i am going to use the cartridge which is white bore and this is a lens from bosch and lom this is called and vista and i am placing it in a butterfly cartridge the lens is folded in the cartridge placed in the injector the piston moves and now we're going to implant this lens in my left hand is a sinski hook kind of instrument and in my right hand is the you know intraocular lens delivery system here goes the lens the leading haptic goes in the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is pushed by the left hand instrument into the capsular bag and now the lens is dialed so that it is positioned in such a way that i can go behind the lens and remove all the visco that is trapped between the lens and the posterior capsule Uh, this is a uh, 23g simco i have gone behind the lens and irrigating the space 
between the lens and the capsule I come forward and then I irrigate and aspirate the front part that is the from the back of the cornea to the lens and now I take the bimanual irrigation aspiration system the irrigation goes first irrigation of the anterior chamber and then behind the lens we must irrigate the capsular bag very nicely because most of this time what happens is the a lot of visco is trapped behind the lens and there is raised intraocular pressure in the postoperative period so we must remove all the visco very meticulously now this is a bit of moxifloxacin and then we close the sideboard by hydrating corneal stroma with PSS and then a final lavage to conclude the case this is very important we must leave very clean fluid at the end of the surgery the antechamber is nicely formed integrity of the wounds are checked few drops of moxy is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Please learn pre-chopping. This is very important. Don't use unnecessarily ultrasonic energy in soft cataracts. Surgery is much safer, much quicker with the use of pre-chopper or nucleus cutter.